What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm gonna be bringing you my full review of this absolute beast of a NAS from QNAP. Now this one is the Turbo V NAS TVS871, and like I say, this is an absolute animal of a NAS device. You could easily support a small business on this single unit alone, or you can have an incredible home-based solution with this. It's completely up to you. Now this is quite a high-end NAS, like I say, it's got eight drive bays, so if you wanted to, you could really fill this up with maybe six or potentially in the future even eight terabyte drives and have a huge amount of storage available to you. Now in this one, I've put in eight four terabyte drives, so that gives me a total amount of raw storage of 32 terabytes, which is absolutely insane. Now obviously when you raid it, it brings that down a little bit, but still a huge amount of storage. Now on top of that, this one is 10 gigabit ethernet which is incredible. Now I'm gonna be bringing you some future videos on 10 gigabit ethernet and a whole bunch more stuff around this real high end kind of networking and storage. But for now, this is what I'm gonna show you. I am using the Netgear XS708E switch, which is a very, very amazingly priced 10 gigabit ethernet switch that you can use at home or in your small or medium sized business. Now also on the back we've got more ethernet ports, we've got four more gigabit ethernet ports so you can also bond those up together and use those how you'd like to as well. We've got four USB ports, two of which are USB 3 and then in addition to that right down the bottom which gives us a real different kind of flexibility around this device we've also got the HDMI port as well. Now this is great because what you can do with this you can connect this straight up to your TV and immediately you can get access to to a load of applications built into the QNAP device. So in here you could do things like browse the internet, go on YouTube, play games, uh, go on XBMC, play all your movies, it's fantastic. Now on the front, We've got three lights, status USB and LAN to give us an indication of what's going on there. We've also got a USB 3 port on the front as well and it's got one touch sync. So if you place a little thumb drive in there for example, that's going to sync that straight across to all of your storage. Now all of the drive bays are easily removable and also lockable as well for extra security and you can place in there pretty much any drives that you would like to. Make sure you check out the compatibility list before you do but definitely go ahead and get yourself a NAS based drive. Don't just go with a normal drive. Now you can get these from a whole range of companies, Western Digital, Seagate, HGST, all of them do great NAS drives and all you do is load this thing up, place them in and put them back in the slot and you are good to go. Now once you've done all of that and you've got it powered on, it's very, very simple to find the device on your network. All you do is you download an application from the QNAP website called QFinder. That will go away, find your NAS device on your network. You can click on login and straight away you are at the login page and you are ready to go. And from this point forward, we are using the web interface management element of the QNAP device. Now most QNAP devices are exactly the same interface as this. Here you can see for example, it's immediately prompting us with a firmware update. Very simple to apply all of these firmware updates. You just click go and straight away it goes away and does it for you. The actual interface itself, very intuitive, very easy to use, lots of help and wizards and stuff like that as well. So even if you don't have huge experience with these high level NAS devices, you're not going to struggle in any way whatsoever to use this. Now you can see here my RAID setup, I've got this set up with eight four terabyte drives like I mentioned earlier and you can completely choose the RAID configuration that you want to. If you want extra speed you can even put an SSD in one of the drives and set that up as a cache accelerator as well so that will give you even faster access to all of your hot data or your, or your most accessed data however you want to look at it. Now in the control panel, you can configure absolutely everything about the TVS871, right the way through from backups to network configuration, everything about it completely configurable via a GUI. Now one of the most powerful parts about the QNAP NAS is the application library that is available to you. And you can see here, all of these applications can be installed and updated with a single click. So all of those applications in there, anything from WordPress right the way through to antivirus, you can very easily access and install.
Now we've also got QSearch as well, and this is a very, very powerful tool for being able to search for all of the files on the device. All you need to do is put in the file name, for example, or even the type of file or anything else, go away, hit search, and it's gonna find it for you. Now, for those of you that are into a little bit of virtualization, it also has virtualization built in to this NAS. It's incredible. Now, virtualization station is one of the applications that you can install with that single click from the application store itself. And once you're in there, it's very easy to start virtualizing operating systems. So if you wanted to have, like I've got here, a Windows 10 device running inside your NAS, you can do that, no problem whatsoever. I had it suspended here so let's just kick off the restart there and when that actually comes back to life we can then go straight ahead and start using that operating system exactly the same as if it was a full blown PC sitting on the network. Now from here you can get console based access so if we just click on the console button this will take us straight through and immediately we are logged on and we can use this machine as if it was just any other machine. Now if you want to get faster access to it you can for example enable remote remote desktop and then use the RDP protocol to connect directly to the desktop from whichever machine you want to or you can come in via the web browser here but obviously it's a little bit more laggy uh, than it would be if you were using something like RDP for example or maybe even if you wanted to you could put the VDA agent on from Citrix and have it as part of your full blown VDI solution it's completely up to you. Now from within the virtualization station, you can completely configure everything about the device. You can reboot it, you can change passwords, you can set how much memory it has, how much storage it has. Absolutely everything about the device can be configured, whether you want it to map for any USB ports, networking, all of that kind of stuff can all be done directly from virtualization station itself. Very, very powerful tool and just absolutely fantastic to have this kind of functionality built into this little NAS device device and like I say this really would be completely capable of running your entire business if you've got a small business. Now surveillance station this gives us access to all of our CCTV so if you've got any IP cameras on the network that you want to record directly to the NAS itself you can do that and they also include a full-blown client as well now this one here is obviously for Mac and from here you can have this running all the time and you can see all of your cameras and everything that's going on at any one moment in time it's fantastic really really great solution from QNAP right the way through their complete software portfolio from the operating system itself to the applications virtualization station surveillance station video station far far too much to go into every single one of these on this video but like I say this really is a fully fledged solution from QNAP that's going to do absolutely everything that you need it to do. Now the mobile applications that are available today there's a vast amount of them. In here for example we've got a file management tool so we can go in here and move files around the file system and we can do this from anywhere. This doesn't have to be from inside the local network. All of this can be configured so as you can do it over the internet. Q Manager gives us the ability to actually manage the device itself so we can see the utilization, we can see if there's any errors, and we can do some configuration as well. So another great little app that UNAP, uh, QNAP have given us in terms of mobile application management. Now in here we can also turn applications and services on and off, so this really is a fully fledged management application. Q Music, that will give us access to all of our music, very much like through the web interface, but this time through a mobile application. Now, next up, in addition to uh, Q Music, we've got some more applications. The next one we'll look at is Q Video, and this one gives us the ability to play all of our video files over the network and have them transcoded on the fly so they work no problem whatsoever. And this really is a great little application. You've got the ability to configure the resolution, and this will go all the way up to 1080p. So your complete movie library, photo library and music library available to any machine on your internal network or any machine outside your network all with the relevant security and also to mobile devices as well. Really is a great solution from QNAP. 
Next up, we've got VCam, and this is a really unique solution because what this enables us to do is use our phone as an IP camera on the network that we can connect into using surveillance station, or we can connect in externally and check it out as an actual camera on the network. There's a whole bunch of configuration in there, and that's a really funky little thing to play around with from QNAP. Now vMobile is the actual surveillance system monitoring application and you can go in here and you can check out all of your cameras that you've got set up on your network, you can check out all of the recordings that they may well have taken and you can play back through all of those as well. So overall my complete opinion of the QNAP TVS871, as I've said throughout this video, this is a fully functional, fully fledged NAS device for either the really, really kind of experienced home user that wants a fantastic setup at home or for someone who wants to manage and run their complete business in a very, very simplified environment. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do go ahead and hit that like button for me and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.